here in this video, I'm going to show you how to install ProtonVPN on your phone. You want to go to the App Store. You want to search up Proton VPN right here. You want to click the download icon. I've already downloaded it before, of course. It should download fast because it's not a very big app. Once Proton's installed, you want to click it. Now that we're into the Proton app, you can click create an account. You can put in an email address or you can create a secure Proton mail address. Uh, Proton's mail service is encrypted, which makes it a very secure mail address and I personally use it. But if you don't want to do that, you can use your current email instead. Afterwards, it'll show you a verification code. After the code has been typed in, you want to create a password, you know. And now we want to wait for the account to be created. And now we're into Proton. You want to click Upgrade. And you don't necessarily have to right here. But you can click Proton. You can do... Or you can get Proton Plus. Here what you want to do is you want to get... You either can get Proton Plus or you can get the free edition. Proton through the app costs more money to, than it does on the website. Because Apple takes a cut of it when you buy through their app store. They do that with every app. It's not something new. So what you want to do is you either want to buy it on here or you want to buy it on your computer. Or if you want to use the free edition, you can click the X. But the problem is that you can only use whatever server it wants to connect you to. Next, what you want to do is you want to click allow. I'm connected to Romania. I don't have a password. But to enable a VPN, it'll ask you to put in a password. Again, I'm connected to Romania, so there are no, there are no, uh, you cannot select a server with a free account. You can only do that with a premium account. While using a free, uh, the free version of the VPN, you aren't able to change it. So you aren't able to change the location. So it'll, uh, when using the Proton VPN, and this happens with all VPNs, it'll change the way certain apps work. So, for example, Netflix will show you a content that is only allowed in that certain country that you've selected. For TikTok, so if you were to select Japan for your TikTok, uh, you would be limited to their laws over there. You wouldn't be able to watch some of the content that you used to watch in the United States.